なるほど Hey everybody, BAM Collectibles here today to showcase one of the coolest videos that I've done in a while. We are going to be building Ichiraku Ramen's shop out of... This is not an official product, but I'll go over some of the details after we take a look at the minifigs. So starting off, we have Jiraiya Sage Mode Naruto, where the cloak can be removed so it can be looking normal, and then Kakashi with a lightning blade. Then we have Teenage Sasuke, Sakura, and Teuchi, or most commonly known as the Ramen Guy. Now, there's some dark rumors on the internet that say he might be an Uchiha clan member because we've never really seen his eyes. So is there a Sharingan or Rinnegan hiding behind there? The world will never know. Jokes aside, he is definitely a character in the series that I think everybody universally loves and enjoys. Now, one thing I'll mention about this build plate that we're doing in the background is that it's had a little bit of a bend and a warping to it. It's not fully flat. I think that's because these are you know, unofficial types of products to get that elephant out of the room. Now, there were some concepts that were created many months, maybe even years ago, of Naruto Lego sets. Unfortunately, I think there was a petition out there. It didn't get fully passed, and so the idea just was dead in the water. Lucky for fans, China had another plan. So these are bootleg versions of lessons that somebody created, but when you get everything together, it does fit and sit pretty well for the most part. But again, the quality, as you saw for the build plates, is a little off for those larger, more thin pieces. Because I know many will ask, where did you get this from? I did want to include links in the description. So at the very top there, you can check that out and see for yourself. Now I did want to take a moment to build this one piece right here. I was actually thoroughly impressed by this. This is a refrigerator that we're building. One of the things that I was so amazed to see while building the set is that they managed to bring to life the whole ramen shop, not just the outside of it, but the inside of it, what the kitchen would look like, what Teuchi's bedroom would even look like, what his toilet even looks like. Stay tuned for that. As you'll notice throughout the review and showcase, I did try to speed things up for everybody, but I did also want to make sure I slowed down for certain sections so we can really get to feel the immersion that they included in this set with all the different details. With that done, we'll go ahead and jump in a little bit closer. Now the fridge is gonna go over here to our left. Directly right is an oven that they included. You'll notice a little skillet is sitting on top of there. And as you saw before, the fridge door does open up. Next up, we will have a spatula, all right? A cute little spatula that's gonna go on the left wall, and then directly after that, we're gonna be building the ramen station that Teuchi would access. We can see the pots that would potentially hold some broth. Over here is a sink where he's either gonna clean dishes or maybe he's rinsing out some noodles. So all in all, there's four different appliances that they fit in this small little kitchen. Backing up, we'll begin to build the infamous counter that we've seen so many different times in the show and decorate it with a few different pieces. Now, I also wanted to mention to you, this set came with some decals. So if you do wanna take the extra time to dress up certain pieces, it's really gonna add more life to the actual set. To make things quick, I'm just gonna show you this first application of the Naruto Maki or the fish cake. All the others I'm gonna do off camera. So grab the associated Lego piece and then stick it on there, press it on there real firmly. So make sure it does stick nicely. And what we're gonna do with this one is actually there's four different ramen bowls. We have to stick a piece of Lego on top to kind of raise things up because the notch sits really low into there. And then we stick the Naruto Maki right on top of there. It looks really nice. With all four bowls installed, we need to get some seats for some butts to sit on. I hope everyone's enjoying this experience so far to get to see the insides of the ramen shop brought to life. If you don't mind leaving a like on the video if you're enjoying yourself, this did take quite a few hours, probably upwards of like 40 or 50 to do this, but I do enjoy being able to showcase any type of Naruto product. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to share this with everyone on the channel. And when I say 40 to 50 hours, not to build the actual set, right? It wouldn't take that, but to film everything and do all the editing to make it so enjoyable and aesthetically pleasing, which I had a blast recording this. It really stretched me a little bit from the normal things that I'm used to recording. In the back of the shop, I did have to do like an initial double take at, you know, figuring out what the heck is this? What is it building? But surprisingly so, I guess in order to supply him with an endless amount of eggs, we have a chicken coop that's going up in the back and it's actually gonna be sitting underneath of the staircase that we're gonna be building a little bit later. 
If you're wondering what those yellow legs are, I'm guessing it's just chicken feed. That's all it's supposed to represent. Now that we've built up some walls, we have some details to add on the front. So on the right, we have the ramen menu. On the back, we have a flag going up over the door and they're building kind of a ventilation system on the top of the oven. On the top left, we have an AC vent and then also like a promotional flyer going up. It says 150 yen, so who knows what that could be. Before I mention, there is a staircase right above the chicken coop. So here is the main piece that we're going to be using. Now I'm going to be skipping the actual building process for that because honestly, it was a huge pain in the butt and time toilet to do. So here's the final turnout. So again, a set of stairs, but also some legs supporting, you know, what's going on there. And it also keeps the chickens in the cage. With that bad boy put up, we also need to add some additional parts on there that are going to transition us to the second floor. And here's the final with the hand railing. Let's go ahead and jump to another wall on the outside. First off, we have some uh, more promotional flyers that we'll put decals on later. And then next up is some gas lines that we're installing. And you know, with gas lines, we also need to install some gas tanks. So I'll go ahead and build these. If you've ever noticed, these are actually right on the side of any picture we've seen of Ichiraku's ramen shop next to it. So we have that built. And also I'm gonna add a decal to it off screen. I'm guessing it says something like gas or beware caution on the side. And with the two tanks in place, we just need to install some remaining gas lines. I will mention one of the you know, black pieces that's used on the right side is actually not a gas line. We'll go over what it is in a moment as we build the wooden awning that's going over the building. So what that black piece on the side is, it actually just is a lever to support this awning as it comes down. Just like when I unbox statues for some of my main content, I love getting to see all the details added into, you know, both statues and this set that we don't get to see in the series. So first things first, let's cover up this wall over here and then install two little pieces of grass. Then we got two more flyers going on this side and really cool. We had an AC vent that went on the other side of the wall. So we have like an air conditioning unit or some kind of ventilation system and the wire that leads down to it. There is the flyer decals that go on there as well. When you think about Ichiraku's ramen shop, what do you think about, right? It's those flags that are sitting at the very front of the building. So first off, we do need to build the awning or the arch that goes over the top way in order to support that. And then here is the actual archway that the flags are going to attach to later. So we get that bad boy on there and see what the flags look like. Again, absolutely stunning how they're bringing the shop to life the way that we know and love it. So we need to bridge the gap between the first and second level. How we do that is put these smooth pieces on top of the actual so that the second floor can rest up against it. For this next section, we're gonna be building again, the second layer that goes on top of the house. It's gonna be housing Teuchi's bedroom, his kitchen and bathroom. That is pretty much the foundation for the second floor. Now I do need to switch angles because we're building a lot higher. And I wanted to point out on the left side is the bathroom. We can see the tub and the kitchen tile. I'm sorry, the bathroom tile. And on the right side is his bed with some yellow pillow. Let's continue to build on up. And that pretty much wraps up things for the second layer. First things first, Teuchi is taking a potty break over there on that toilet. And then for the details on the outside, we'll go over that soon. I did want to kind of attach this to the top section and get a nice 360 where we can appreciate all the details. You can see that AC ventilation system like we saw on the first level. And here's how it can be removed and installed. Super simple because there's not actually connecting points. They're just resting on those flat pieces of light. But going around here, lots and lots of details are gonna be added in just a moment. And because most of these parts are a pain in the butt, we're gonna be skipping right through and adding them right on here. With every brick and every layer, it's beginning to look more and more like the shop that we know and love from the show. So I love the contrast of colors. It's kind of messing with my, uh, my OCD of loving even things where the slats are kind of slanted and sideways. That's not by error. This is how it's designed and how it's supposed to be. Uh, if it had it my way, I'd probably make everything even because I like symmetry, but this is how the set is. So we're going with it. 
To literally top things off, we have the roof, which I built separately and similar to the secondary layer where the bottom, we have to have those smooth sections where it just rests on top of there. And then also, if you see off to the right side over there, there's a power line that they added onto this set. Now I'm hearing my thoughts on this power line. First off, it's ingenious how they brought it to life. It's brilliant, all these different pieces coming together. But I have to say for me personally, it just takes away from the set altogether and the actual ramen shop. Now I know, you know, it's great to add different layers of realism to the set to bring it to life. And you'll see here, here are some like power lines that you'll use to tie in different pieces together. Again, adding some realism into the statue is great, but to me, it kind of made it a little too busy and muddied it up for me. Some of these pieces are loose, not tight enough. I just, I'm actually gonna nix the whole thing, take it off. That's just my personal preference, but I wanted to show you for anyone else that's interested. You will notice I did add that power cable on the front section of the building. That is a staple for the restaurant, so I did keep that on there. Now it's time to add some of the finer finishing touch details. We have some bottles of water that go in the back. On the corner of each building is gonna be these red sphere looking lights. And then we have some grass being added as well as the trash, some trash can, also a box, what looks like to me like a box from some delivery. Here's some flags they included as well for multiple different nations. And I'm such a baddie, I never realized this before, but these are actually chopsticks that they included with the set. Super cool detail to be added. We'll add some more of those red lights on the corners. And then we also have this cool little promotional stand that sits out front. I thought this was cool how they brought that to life as well. And then also another one of the staple things for the restaurant is this awesome looking light that we have on the left side of the building. My gosh, now if this wasn't one of the coolest things I've ever seen, I have to mention, if you bought a certain one that came with an LED kit, you're able to bring this to life even more so by adding LED strips. Now it takes a long time, maybe even a few hours to get this done, but here is the final look. All right, everybody, to take the excitement level down a notch, this is just a beautiful work of art. The fact that this never got an actual official release is super sad. I just love how we have the lantern glowing inside of the building, the secondary floor on some of the awnings. They also have some LED strips that brought it to life in there as well. Just super cool. Here's actually a different minifig that's not included of more of a kid version of Naruto that I thought was more appropriate. Now, because I had so much fun on this project, we are gonna be doing the Hokage building soon. So also there was a Jiraiya on Toad that came with the set that I didn't have time to build or include. So we're gonna be doing that in that showcase as well. If you enjoyed today's different video and showcase, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I love to hear from you. I always try to respond back when I can. As always, everybody, I'll see you in the next. Do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.